Welcome to my lecture online. By request, I was asked to talk about a new concept in physics called torsion. So here it is. We'll do a set of videos on torsion. And when we want to look for the definition of torsion, we can best define it as a twisting of a rod or a beam as a result of an applied torque. So here we've drawn a picture of a rod. It has length L and it's fixed at the bottom where it cannot move at the bottom and we're applying a force tangential to the side therefore causing a torque or a moment to try and twist the top of this rod. The amount of twisting at the top here denoted by the angle theta is defined as the amount of the twisting and the angle theta is called the twist angle or the angle of twist. The amount of that angle depends on four things. So here we have the equation we can see that the angle theta, which is typically expressed in radians, is equal to the torque times the length of the rod divided by g times j. And we'll talk about those two constants in just a moment. So the moment is simply the product of the force applied times the distance r to the point of rotation at the center, which is r, that distance right here. Then we have what we call the length of the rod or beam. The longer the beam, the greater the twist angle. Three, we have the modulus of rigidity called g. Now, we also know that constant as the shear modulus. It's exactly, exactly the same thing. And it really depends upon the strength of the material. For something really strong, the number is very high. For something that's not as strong, the number is lower. For example, for steel, g is 79.3 times 10 to 9 pascals, which is newtons per square meter. That's a very large quantity because steel is very strong material. And finally, we have what we call the torsional constant J. And that depends upon the shape of the beam or the rod. If we have a cylindrical rod like this, J is one half pi r to the fourth. But it could be a square beam, it could be an I beam, it can be a cylindrical beam, it can be a hollow beam, various different shapes will have different what we call torsional constants and we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. But at least now you have an understanding of what we mean by torsion. It is a twisting of a rod that where we have an applied force at one end and it's fixed on the other end and then the amount of twisting theta will be defined by these four constants right here and we'll look at those in more detail. That's what we mean by torsion.